so wonderful to be together in this sacred atmosphere with one heart, one way, one joy, one tone, one voice, one world, one choice, one accord, one place, one divine source, one love, one heavenly climate, and one field of collective radiance. We are considering the pulse of spirit on liberating the field. I consider this to be a groundbreaking and earth shattering pulse. This is hugely opening. And I'd like to ground us into liberating the field by discussing some of the qualities of the field as presented in the pulse. In my reading of the pulse, I'm, I found eight distinct qualities of the field, or we could just as easily say eight qualities of the heavenly climate of the Garden of God. These are the field is an attunement energy conduit, facilitates the flow and amplification of energetic vibration. The field holds a quality of memory storage. It retains the accumulated wisdom, knowledge, and insights from all of our creative endeavors. The field holds a quality of creative empowerment, empowering our creative expression and unlocking ever new inspiration. The field brings us closer to source and is our connection to source. It establishes that connection of all, the source of all creativity, radiant energy and intelligence. The field holds the quality of unity and togetherness, possibility and transformation. The field amplifies consciousness and the field opens the door of a crossover point that creates a reciprocal feedback loop, ever expanding the exchange and integration of energy, information, and creative potential between consciousness and the manifest world. So I'd like to offer one quote from the Pulse and look at this quote in light of these qualities. It is, there is a powerful relationship between the creative expression of an individual or group and the field of energy they create. One feeds the other. Creative expression feeds the energy field and the energy field feeds the creative expression. How true this is. And now if we look at this quote in light of all of these qualities, we can see the attunement energy conduit feeds the energy field and the energy field widens the aperture of the attunement conduit. One feeds the other. Memory storage feeds the energy field and the energy field facilitates greater memory storage. Creative empowerment feeds the energy field and the energy field increases the empowerment of our creativity. Our individual and collective connection to source feeds the energy field and the energy field amplifies that connection. One feeds the other. Unity and togetherness feed the energy field and the energy field more seamlessly connects us to one another, deepening our connections, our relationships, our communication, our togetherness as one. Possibility and transformation feed the energy field and the energy field accelerates the horizon, the horizon line of greater possibility and transformation. We are at that crossover point that sacred place, creating this sanctuary, creating this garden of God. 
So in light of all of that, what is the key to liberating the field? As Rebecca Folsom Sanctuary Song says, sings, shouts, sanctuary comes from sanctification. To me, sanctification is the alpha and the omega of liberating the field. Sanctify, sanctify, sanctify. Sanctify before you energize. Sanctify before you remember. Sanctify before you empower. Sanctify before you connect. Sanctify before you unite. Sanctify and then transform. Sanctify and then amplify consciousness. Sanctify and open the door of the crossover point to bring heaven and earth together as one. <laughs>